what's up guys i just got out here to the bridge and as you can see it has been pretty much clean all that garbage that was here is, is gone they do clean it every now and then but we do got to clean, clean up at ourselves too uh it's incoming tide right now i got two dozen blood worms i'm gonna be using two different rigs one high low one fish finder rig but basically only going for porgies i got two dozen blood worms and i'll just fish till i run out of worms so hopefully they're biting today i'm gonna put two rides out try to get as many as i can i'm ready to get in the water let me get these rides set up one's already set up for bluefish one's set up for fluke so i do got to change both rigs i'm about to get in the water now water looks a little uh, murky today but with them blood worms they can they can smell that not that much people here so it's gonna be a lot more packed than this let's see what we can do today see you guys when i get in the water all right like i said i got two different setups on this rod i got a fish finder rig the sliding sinker three ounces see i'm going with two small pieces of bait I also got two small pieces on this one with just a high-low rig with a two ounce sinker on that. I was able to bait four hooks with one worm. Not wasting bait today. Get it on out there. Let it hit the bottom. Lock that up. And they got the fish finder rig, so it don't even got to be that tight because they're going to pull it anyway and it won't move the sinker. And then you got this rod with the high-low, the two ounce, same thing, two, work, two hooks. Punch that on out there. The bottom. Lock that up. Now just wait for the bite. I do want to catch porgies, but kingfish is what I really want. Put them close so I can watch both of them at the same time and wait for the bite. I kid you not, both rods get hit at the same time. Yo, at the exact same time. Yo, I might not be able to use two rods look at this both <laughs> son both rides at the same time at the same i didn't even catch them near each other oh man the point is gonna be here that good i don't even gotta be bait both hooks look at this oh my god this rod other rods getting messed up too i don't even know what the camera's on right Yo, what the heck is going on? Camera's falling off. I ain't get to tighten it up yet. <laughs> oh, I dropped through. No, he stood it. They don't feel as big as they usually do. I gotta tighten the strap for the camera. Oh man, this is no fun on this rod. If he stood it. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this porgy. That one's definitely not a keeper. Keep that bait on there. I'm gonna measure that one. First, let me fix this camera. It's all sideways. All right, that should be better now. I was just fixing the camera and both rides went off at the same time. Let me see. Ten and a half. That's a keeper. So he can go on ice. First keeper of the day. Literally just got here. Literally just two the rods in the water and both went off. I might have to use only one rod. I don't know. Well, once the bait is going on this big rod, I might stop using it. Let's see. We'll see. All right. I just threw both rods back out. Uh, that the bigger fish took one of the worms off of that rod. 
I didn't even bait that hook back up. So this one only has one piece of worm on it on the top hook. This one still had both pieces. That little fish wasn't able to take it. But let's see if the action continues like that. I mean, that was freaking instant. As soon as I turned the camera off, both rods went down. That was crazy. Hopefully that continues. At least for a little bit. Shoot a whole video in 30 minutes. All right, the fish are biting so good. That I'm actually gonna switch it up now. I'm gonna go with one rod, one hook. So I'm not saying wasting bait. See how that does. Oh shoot, bro, what the heck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No point in having two rods up and using up all that bait. Oh, he got off. Wow, that was a nice fish. Holy cow. Bro, as soon as it hit the bottom, bro, look at this. This is freaking crazy. Yeah, no point in using two rods. Oh man, it still got a little piece on there. Let's see. See if I get another one, I might as well hold the rod. Catching out all my line. I just lost one of my other rigs. I popped off a lot of line. Wow, yo. That joint had just hit the bottom. He was going with it. Look at this, look at this. They want it again. So I just hit it. I'm stuck. The fish was biting it though. Let's see if he gets it out. Ah! Uh, pop this. That's gonna be it for this rod. I can barely get out there now. I think get some more bait on there. Nah, they out there right now. See, everyone always asks me what's the best bait to come up here and use for the porgies. And I always tell them, even though the blood worms are expensive, man, they really are the best bait. It gives you the best chance to catch these porgies. If the porgies are here, they will eat that blood worm. We got time to set the rod down. They just on it. I must have a pretty good school sitting right in front of me. And now they act like they don't want to run with it. Just tapping, tapping. Oh, I missed them. Be a lot of little ones in the mix. Little ones just pecking at it. All right, so I'm getting bit like crazy, but it's basically all small fish. A lot of baby fish. bottom see if I get hit right away if not set the rod down and sometimes as soon as I set the rod down it goes down so it seems like it's starting to slow down a little bit Might not be getting far enough now. Might have to just use that rod. There's not enough line on this rod. Let 
Matter of fact, I'll set it up while that's out there. A lot of small fish today. Got to weed through all the little fish. Look at this. Not the same size fish I was catching before. Might make it though. Last time I even had to measure them. Still over 10 inches. Keep her. So I got a couple porgies. See if I can add a fluke to the mix. Bunch of small fish just eating the worm. Ten worm up. Switch over to a bigger goat. The porgies keep snatching the tail of the goat. If they was getting the hook and I was catching them, I wouldn't care. If they just snatching the tail. Got him. Finally got him. He kept biting. He kept getting off. What is it? It's a fluke. It ain't that big, but it's a fluke. All right, calm down, calm down. Come on. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, he swallowed that thing too. What is he, like 17 and a half? <laughs> Get my hook back. No. Get a picture of the gram. Uh, get my goat back. Get a measurement. What you is? Wow. 18 inches <laughs> so close I know that's crazy half an inch I'm gonna take a picture and get them back all right got my story sorry for the gram got a thumbnail pic half an inch man you was so lucky half an inch there he goes Lucky fish, man, because he would have been in the pot today. <laughs> Dang. Check my porgy bait. Then get back to fluking. Got him. No way, son. That porgy. Lost him. Yeah, I gave him a hook set and everything. How? Damn, that felt like a good one too. I know they should show up once that tide start going out. It's been a grind out here. Get this video. I'm gonna get it though. video has been a grind 
definitely short. Not even gonna measure this one. Just gonna take a picture, get him back. Uh, definitely get to go back, little guy. Oof. Belly flop. Wow. All of that? <laughs> Need some more catches for this video. Wow. Very nice cast. <laughs> Little sea robin. When I said I needed more catches, I meant keepers, you know? Something to take home. Little guy. Yep, they probably took all the bait. That's gonna do it for me. I'm out of here. I wanna thank everybody that watched all the way to the end of this video. And for that, I got something for you. I'm gonna do a little giveaway in this video. I'm not gonna announce it in the description or nothing. So it's for the people who watch to the end. All you gotta do is be sub to the channel and comment in the comment section how many species did I catch today? That's it. Every correct answer answered uh, entered in the first 24 hours of me releasing the video will be entered to the giveaway. So the only question is how many species did I catch today? Pay attention. Now how many fish? How many species? You don't gotta name each species. You could do your regular comment if you was gonna say how you like the video or whatever. And just put how many species I caught in the video. And I catch you guys in the next one, man. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you everyone for subbing to the channel. Almost at 1600 now. We're getting up there. Catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace.